A couple of weeks ago, I had a trip to the United States of America, and it turned out to be rather fruitful. As you can see, I have a couple of new golf clubs in my bag, and one of them turns out to be my favorite club ever. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson, and welcome back to this YouTube channel. Guys, if you're new here, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. We are well on the way to 300,000 subscribers. I'd love you to be a part of it. No, not you, Bobby, yourself. Right, so I've got a new golf club in the bag. As you can see, it has quite a exotic, vibrant shaft in there. And it's not something which I've really done that much recently. It's quite an expensive upcharge. And this club, as you can see, is of course the PXG 0317X driving iron. And I've reviewed this club already with a standard steel shaft in. I thought it was okay. I didn't really, didn't blow my socks off, as Mr. Dennis would say, but I enjoyed it. And then I tested this out in Scottsdale. Let me stop talking and let me show you a couple of shots here in Scotland. You see where we're, you see where we're going with this. Bobby's shaking his head. Bobby's shaking his head. But, especially with it being open week, I feel like these golf clubs could well be the answer to a lot of people's woes. That felt incredible. And that was a bad strike where I've lost my balance. I'm actually aiming for that bunker. So I'm really, really happy with that. And we're going to see how many times we can get these balls towards that bunker. As you can see, guys, this is a stunning looking golf club. And I do feel as though it's a little bit more forgiving than what a lot of people would give it credit for. I'm not really a hybrid kind of guy. I can't really use hybrids. I can't use a seven wood as well as that man there because he's a magician. I didn't know I'm not about gas, am I? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go again. And the big thing what I think this shaft does in this club is give it more of a solid feel and sound. Look at that. That is honestly absolutely gorgeous. Is that two for two in that bunker? I think it either is or it's just short. Guys, we're going to test this today out here at Dundonald Golf Club. We're also going to test it in the studio for numbers. And guys, if you want to see a head-to-head -head of this and the exact same club with the standard steel shaft in, then make sure you throw a like on this video and let me know in the comments below. I'm talking quite quickly because I'm really excited, but it's not every day you get to test a golf club like this and put it in your bag, which is exactly what's happening for me. So without any further ado, let's get out there and see exactly how it performs. And that is three for three in that bunker. That's frightening. Go on. So as you can see, consistency wise, I'm really impressed with that. Those groupings for me are outstanding. We have two in the bunker of the target area what we're aiming for, and we have one just short of it. So for me, a big conception or a big misconception, should I say about these clubs is they lack forgiveness. But actually, if you look at the design of this 0317X head, you can see there's quite a big sole on there. So that drags CG down and that just allows you to have that little bit more forgiveness and ease of launch. I think it's fair to say it's potentially one of the best looking golf clubs I've ever seen. It fits in really well. It is beautiful. Even, even Chris thinks it's beautiful and that says something, but it fits in really well with the 0317T irons. It's just kind of a, a next generation of that, should I say, or the same generation, but a next. What's the word I'm looking for, Bobby? Come on. Next iteration of it. No, it's the same iteration. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Next evolution. No, it's the same evolution. It's the, it's the longer iron, isn't it? You want to try this driving iron, Chris? <laughs> so one of the areas you might want to use this club for is into those long par fours or par fives. We're on the third hole here at Dundonald Golf Club, and this is a par five. We've taken the balls out of the bunker. Thank you, Bobby, because we don't want to hit them out of the bunker. But as you can see, we have exactly 250 yards in, and it's actually, we have to carry a bunker of around 220. So can we get up there with this club I think if we can, a 250 yard, I mean, 250 yards for me is a three wood. We're of course playing links conditions, there's no real wind. So if we can pitch it kind of 220, it might well run up to that big distance. This is where these clubs might well come in handy for you guys if you do play dried out courses, or if you just need a golf club for off the tee that you struggle with. But check a look, check a look. <laughs> but look at this down at the ball. I think that is a good looking driving iron as any. You can tell there's a little bit of forgiveness in there. You can tell there's a little bit of technology with that weight in and of course the orange shaft really does just finish it off nicely it's extra stiff but 
I just wanted to let you know it's extra stiff to be honest. Right, can we hit the green, Bobby? What do you think? Yeah. I feel like we're into the wind a little bit. It's 250, Chris. What do you reckon? Gonna have to play a bit of a kind of lower one than I would have liked, but I'm sure we can give it a go. Oh my lord, how good is that? It's, it, we are into the wind a little bit now as well, and that's chasing. Go on, go on. Oh, it's on. Bobby, how's the zoom? It's still going as well. Yeah, you know what? For what I'm trying to do there as well, I actually wanted a lower ball flight, but if that's gonna be it's not even a miss hit, it's almost like a, it's just overly forgiving, which I think is fantastic if you don't like a hybrid or you can't hit a seven wood, like I can't, unfortunately. That's on the green, that's one on the green already. One for one. Well, if that misses that bunker, it's a knuckleball. Just go right of it a bit. Go on. Oh, we've caught the bunker. We've caught the bunker, but that's the shot that I think I'll get away with a little bit more because if you get a little bit high on the face like I did there and a little bit duffy, especially in summer, you kind of get that low knuckleball that runs forever. I hit this off the first tee here at Dundonald. It ran and ran and ran, and I had a pitching wedge in. The hole's like 400 odd yards, so if you do struggle off the tee and you want to keep it in play, is this the one? Right, big high draw, Chris. Oh. Ball left! That's the first tee again. I did get the high draw, but it's still going though, so we found it. Um, no clubs, perfect. Let's go inside and see exactly how this club performs for numbers, and then let's finish off on a very difficult shot here at the spectacular Dundonald Lynx. I would have killed Gary Player on first tee. <laughs> Okay, and when it comes to numbers for this absolutely gorgeous golf club, where do we stand? Because I'm well aware that this thing, yes, it looks fantastic, and it also looks like it offers a certain air of forgiveness with the outdoor shots, but together with this upcharge graphite design shaft, just how good is it for the money? Right. That's a very toy one to kick things off with. And to be honest, a toey iron that carries 204 yards might well, I can't believe that. I struck that so badly. I'll show you the replay again there. Incredible. What about a good one? There we go. And that's not a low one. That's down the center of this fairway. And that's pitching at 224 yards, releasing up to 240 yards, still with three, excellent. Still with 3,300 backspin, which is quite a lot for an iron of this design. So if I can play that lower, I think we can probably carry it less, but even get up to around, we'll move you, even get up to around 250 yards total, which would be insane for an iron. Look at that. Oh, yes, please. 4,000 spin that time, still a bit on the high side, but 226 two, tarry. 240 total can i get that spin down and that distance up so far i'm really impressed with this i'm really impressed with the launch i'm impressed with the flight windows we're getting do you maybe lose an air of versatility having the shafting compared to the steel it feels so good it really does 225 they're carrying a yard apart a yard apart. Oh, yes, please. That's Telly again. I can't believe the dispersion we're seeing with this. This is a really tight knit fairway that we're trying to hit here. Nice shot. We hit it again. Consistency wise, this isn't what I was expecting. I was expecting an absolute beast but not quite as forgiving. That was Telly again. And it's still gonna carry 218. I've not hit one like we did out on the course yet. There we go. 1900 spin, ball speed a bit down. It still wasn't the best strike. That carrying 230, that's running up to 254 yards yes. and that is quite frankly ridiculous. Quite frankly ridiculous. 
I'm going to leave you on that one, guys. That is 258 yards. And that's going in the bag right now. So I have no idea what those numbers were like because um, I'm going to film the numbers after we're here at Dundonald. But as you can see, we have a par three that measures exactly 224 yards to the flag into the wind. So we're going to have a couple of goes at this, see if we can hit the green. Because one thing's a par five, we're not expecting to hit the green. But I always think on par threes, maybe we over, over maybe we over egg ourselves a little bit. But we like to think we're going to hit the green. So, nice big cut into that right hand flag. Can we get the green with it? looks so good down at the ball. I'm in love. That's the exact shot I wanted. Is it there? It was a little bit toey, if we're being brutally honest. And that's just front right side of the green. So, quite happy with that for a miss hit. Where did you go? Here. I can't believe how forgiving. This club really is. There we go. There we go, that could feed in to be delightful. And the fact I'm doing this with a club that's so low aloft, go on, go on. Oh, do I need to hit a third one, Bobby, do you think? Oh, it's another one. Go on. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> 